is Saturday. We're in Johnsville. That can only mean one thing. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we go again. Another Saturday, another shave. And boy, have we got a good one lined up for you today. Had some new subscribers. Thank you for jumping on board, guys. One in particular, Glenn. Glenn, you left a comment. And when I went on to reply, my friend, Glenn in Canada, and the comment had just disappeared into the ether. And I went on YouTube Studio and tried everything. And it had just gone. So if you see this, Glenn, please feel free to leave it under this video, pal. But welcome on board and welcome back to all the existing subscribers as well. Okay. Oh, bit of a different one for you today. Um, before we get started, how do you take your Timmy's? Mine, a touch of caramel syrup and heavy on the cream. Mm. Boy, I needed that. I'm actually filming this Saturday shave on a Friday evening. Been a long day, been in from work for a couple of hours. Got the place to myself. Let's get a shave on. Okay, first off, the brush. Here we go. Absolute stunner, this. Let's see if we can get the, the light to catch it. And that is the Yaki 26mm Mysterious Space. And that is a lather monster. And I'm using that one. Put a bit more water in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. I'm using that brush. It's a lather monster. I'm using it because... Uh, this is the cream I'm going to be using. Uh, Cavera. I think that's a Spanish. Cavera Beetle. I think that's Spanish. The Cave Beetle. It's Portuguese. So it may be Portuguese. Cavera is Portuguese. It's own language. Or do they speak Spanish? I'm assuming they speak Spanish. But there you go. I think that means Cave. So Cave Beetle. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Weapon of choice today. Look at this, guys. That's the Razor Rock. Game changer. 0.84 millimeter, and that's the Jaws. Look, see it, the Jaws version. Uh, little game for you. Jaws is somewhere else in this bathroom today, and I don't mean the shower curtain. Oh, here we go. Right, let's get this off. Beautiful super melt handle. This razors, guys, from Razor Rock are absolutely wonderful. What we're going to be putting in that today. Repairer, Swedish steel, and unusually for me, guys, this is its second use. And here it is. There you go. I'm normally one and done kind of a guy, me. But um, I think if a blade's exceptional in its smoothness and quality, I will keep it and use it again. So we shall get that on there. It is its second. That's the only reason I would keep a blade. And I didn't even know this was in there until I went to get a different blade. And there it was. Look at this. There it is. Can you see? See the blade? The alignment. Look at those teeth. Nee, nee. Nee, nee. Right. Were you ever surprised at that shark? Multi-talented. Swam around eating people whilst playing the cello. What a guy. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to splash up with this brutal, beautiful, beautiful. It's like a cross between aqua velva and brut. You put them together, that's kind of the ballpark that you're in there. Um, and the Cavera Beetle that we're using, we've got aftershave. See it there? Gel plus barber. Aftershave gel. You see it? And look at that, guys. £2.99 that was and the soap I know nothing about it, never used it the soap was just £4.99 and that set TK Maxx in the United Kingdom I think it's called TJ Maxx in the US uh, £8 there you go, so we'll see how we go with that today let's crack it open and see right mm. Here, well I can tell you now it, it it's scent strength is about seven because I can smell it from here uh, and it smells like peppermint and that's what it looks like 
Hmm. Are you ready? Well, it's a very, it's a, can you see that? Very soft, squishy, squidgy cream. It's almost like a jelly consistency. But we'll wet the face and we'll crack on and we'll see if we can get a shave with it, eh? Oh. So how have you all been doing? Yeah, filming this on a Friday night. Uh, Samantha's working from home tomorrow, so I won't have the PC tomorrow. Uh, not until late on in the afternoon. So we've got the brush just damp. There's no instructions on it that I can read. And I've looked online and there was nothing that I could see. And I looked on YouTube and there were no videos of anybody using it. So, straight in. Look at that. <laughs> well, that gives you some idea of the consistency. Look, there you go. And if you left that for a couple of minutes, that would probably smooth out. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Wow. What's very cold. You smell that peppermint, it's sort of like, let's dip the tips. I get a bit more. Well, it's not an unpleasant scent. It's kind of like, it smells like, um, like tree bore strong mints. Do you have those where you are? They're about the size of a small coin, white powdery type of minty sweets. Mm. I don't think we're going to get a ladder out of it, guys. But do you know what? We'll see. We'll see, shall we? Go on. <laughs> Let's see if we can make a ladder out of it. If any brush is going to do it, it's going to be this one, isn't it? But I just thought... Mm -hmm. You can go on the UK High Street now and for £8 buy a matching set of shaving salt. So, it's okay. It's okay. Like I say, a nice peppermint scent. But let's see how it goes during the shave. I think we'll call it quits at that. It was... Uh, Let's uh, get a little bit on the hands and do the slickness test. There doesn't seem to be any slickness there whatsoever at all. So here we go. Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 Jaws with a repairer blade second use. Yeah. Yeah, the race is a reason I kept that blade. Straight to it. I mean, I only shave twice a week, but not next week. You're getting a bonus shave next week. I've got an idea for a little theme next week, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. But please leave comments below. Let me know what your shaves of the day is. Let me know what your slurp of the day is. As you can see, I'm on coffee, but believe me, later on, Jam Shed will be partaking of. Hi, I'm just. So relieved to be home, it's Friday, and all's well with the world, we're shaving, you know. And I'll put this up, what I'll do is I'll, I'll upload it and I will schedule it to come live in the morning. For some strange reason YouTube will let me do that from my PC, but it won't let me do it from any other device. So I will edit this. Oh, did I just catch my lip? I will edit this. I will tickle it up. Why do you And it'll be gone. It'll be up. It'll be ready on YouTube by about 8 o'clock tonight. And then it will just sit there until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And then it'll go up live then. It'll go online.
I don't know if they've still got these razor rocks in at shaving time. I got this from shaving time. I'll try and leave a link to it. I'll leave a link to everything that I use. Yeah. yeah a little bit of residual slickness there. I do try and leave links to everything that I use. Uh, if you look, as you look at the screen, I think it's in the bottom right hand corner of the main box of the video. You will see like a little V, an arrowhead pointing down. If you click on that, a drop box will open. It won't disturb the video if you're watching it. You can do it while you're watching the video. And a little drop box will open and there will be all the information about the shave and the links to all the products that I can use now. I don't always, like, um, I won't be able to link this because TK Maxx is a brick and mortar store. I don't know if they do online. Um, I'll try, so I may not be able to link this. Uh, sometimes I link stuff. And then I've had people private message me saying, you posted a link and when we went on it, it was sold out. Oh, I, there's, nothing I can, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that guy. You know what I mean? If they've got 10 left and I put a link and they sell, they sell all 10 of them on Friday night or Saturday afternoon or whenever it is you get to watch the video, I, I apologise, but there isn't really much I can do about that. So anyway, let me know as always what your slope of the day is. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, I have regular commenters and people that regularly watch the videos and I'm grateful to you and then you have some I think there's one guy called Ian uh, who doesn't comment as much as he used to uh, and I hope you're okay Ian because I do I do think about you guys I know there's another guy out there uh, Minty regular comments he used to regular comment on the videos uh, and I was messaging him he actually emailed me um, and he's not he's he's got issues going on he's got you know business family business needs to take care of and you can't always do it you know and i fully understand that absolutely i'm not saying oh why aren't you commenting what i'm saying is um if that's you and you're in that situation and you're out there just be uh, just know that if i don't say it i certainly think about you and I hope you're okay, and I wish you Godspeed with whatever you're going through. There you go. Here we go. Shall we try a bit, sir? Uh, another dip. Of, well, we've got three passes, guys. Mm. <laughs> Peppermint with a hint of chemical. That's what we'll call it. But it's nice. It's nice. Um, mm. Would I choose this over a can of goo? I probably would just on principle to be honest with you Would I buy it again? No If I went somewhere If I went away somewhere and I was stuck And there was nothing anywhere And it was a toss up between this and a can of goop I'd have this I'd have this But I think what it is with us Guys If you're in this hobby And you've used PA. <laughs> this stuff's ridiculous in comparison. And you think, well, PA is three times the price. Yeah, well, it might be three times the price, but it's a hundred times better. But, you know, let's look on the bright side. I always think that. They had to be firsts, didn't they? And once the cat's out of the bag, you know what I mean? This once, once other people and competitors and people see that, well, they're doing it. There must be a market for it. Who knows what will come? It may just be the thin end of the wedge. Uh, and two or three years from now, there might be loads of companies with loads of items like this you can buy on the shelf at supermarkets, and. Uh, one of them may just, may just strike gold with one of them, you know.
and there you go that is our shave guys oh, yeah there isn't a lot of residual slickness should we go for ladder mittens do you know what it's for four pounds 99 pence what's that in the us six and a half dollars maybe um yeah for for five pounds six and a half dollars it's a nice peppermint oh it's got a nice tin isn't it well it isn't bashed isn't dinged i mean at that price you could use it a couple of times for the novelty of it if you didn't like it fire it off and keep the tin couldn't you? And that is our shave. Let me know what you thought, guys. Let me know what you thought of the shave. Let me know what you think of these products. Let me know if you've used this. What's it called? Cavera Beetle. Oh. Let me know what your shave of the day is. Let me know what your slurp of the day is. Oh. And just let me know that you're okay. And remember... The darkest hour is just before dawn. When things seem at their absolute worst, they're not that bad. Look at this. We did okay, didn't we? It's okay, nice and smooth. My skin feels okay. I would use it again. Nice close shave, that razor rock does well, doesn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Okay, now, <laughs> tell you what. Well, I didn't know whether, whether or not to put any. We'll stick some of this on. Because it smells so good. Look at that. Nothing. Not a nick. Not a sting. Oh, God. Oh, it does. It just smells like you've watered brute down with skin bracer. Original Fabergé broke and you've mixed it with skin breaks because they were both green. Oh, that smells absolutely divine. Absolutely wonderful. There you go. That's that. Uh, and here we go. Shall we have a go at this? <laughs> yeah, it smells minty too. Look, can you see it? Like a clear gel. Here we go. Yeah, you get that minty. This is a milder, it's not as minty as that, but it's okay. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. It's okay. We did, dude. We've got to shave that, didn't we, guys? We've got to shave. We chilled out. We relaxed. Got to spend some time in Johnsville. Okay, have a wonderful weekend, guys. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, look after yourselves. And remember, in a cold, dark world, come on, can we all say it together? In a cold, dark world, be a beacon of warmth and light. Look after yourselves and I will see you. Well, will it be Wednesday? No, it won't. I'll see you before Wednesday for a bonus shave. I'm not going to tell you what. I'm not going to tell you when. And I'm not going to tell you why. Until the shave, look after yourselves. <laughs> Bye.